Hi friends, this is Biting Cat again. Uh, welcome to episode 9 of Let's Elden Ring, a beginner-focused uh, playthrough of the entire game, including uh, hopefully lots of optional bosses. Uh, the goal here is to um, show a path that um, doesn't emphasize challenge, so we're going to we're going to make a character that uh, is durable, um, has multiple uh, w ways to do damage effectively, and uh, hopefully can give uh, newcomers a comfortable way to get through the single player game. As a reminder, uh, last time we um, met with the witch Rani, the daughter of Ranala and Radagon. And for lack of a better word, we entered into a kind of conspiracy with her to um, upend everything. We don't know what all that means yet, but uh, perhaps unwisely we agreed. And as our first goal, we are down here in the Asilfra River Valley, uh, which is underground, believe it or not. Um, and we're trying to find a way to reach no Kron, the the uh, eternal city uh, so um, we've done quite a bit of exploring already um, without finding any clues and now we're gonna walk up this hill area this is kind of a tricky spot um, at the very top of the hill are um, some of these blue kind of ghost archers or ancestral spirits um, that uh, have magical great bows and so if we set off an alarm they're going to be sniping at us from up up top the hill and it's going to make things very difficult so um, when we can't backstab and as you see from this guy staying on rock we can't uh, we just need to be fast and be sure we finish enemies off quickly like so Another thing to watch out for, unfortunately, is that there are lots of rats here, and you often won't see them until we're very close to them, uh, which, uh, you know, raises the danger, one, of us getting an alarm raised, but also of getting overwhelmed. I've talked before about how deceptively difficult uh, rats are. Uh, when they crowd around you, they can sort of uh, stun lock you to death. So we're definitely going to want to be on the lookout. Um, I should also warn you that uh, it's allergy season here in uh, southern Louisiana, and my sinus has been really acting up. So uh, hopefully, I won't need a cough or sniff or anything, but just be warned. Um, you know. I might have to hit mute for a second so I can uh, cough or something. We'll see. We're also lighting these little braziers. You can see one up ahead. There's probably, I think there's one up on top of that rock too. Yeah, you see it? It's just on the other side of these two guys. And of course we can see some rats on the ground. Uh, fortunately, um, those spirits are pretty focused. Um, so we should be able to start picking off rats without getting their attention. We'll see. They're taking two hits, unfortunately. Um, I mentioned last time that in terms of uh, our stats, we really need to focus on uh, our magic now. We're just not dealing enough damage. Um, the other problem is there's some higher level spells we want to be able to start using, and they have much higher uh, stat requirements. We've mainly been emphasizing uh, vigor and endurance and things like that. 
um, and that served us very well, but we're about to start hitting a wall in terms of damage output. Um, and chances are what I'm going to want to do is uh, that Twin Sage Glintstone Crown, this one here, it raises um, intelligence by six points, but it lowers your health and your uh, stamina. We're probably going to make a move with that. Um, but you see those rats? But I'm not going to do it until um, we have a 32 intelligence. I want to be able to hit 38. 38 is kind of a big magic number for us. So for now it's business as usual, but let's keep an eye on our intelligence and see if we can't hit our target. See, I'm avoiding these rats because these guys are here. I think I'm just going to go up the hill. Um, we should prioritize taking out the guys with the bows. Since we know it's two shots for each of these, we can just kind of, you know, we don't have to wait. We can just, just hit them. Okay, see, there's one of them. Once we take these two bow guys out, we're going to feel a lot more confident. You know, if we start a big ruckus at that point, it doesn't matter um, because you know we won't get sniped from you know halfway across the map so that's one of them and here's the second one Unfortunately, there's just a bunch of rats up here. See that? just coming Whew. that might be all of them who knows There's the other, um, okay, cool, we lit that one. So now, let's go over here. As you can see, we've got a giant rat. And they'll actually start moving the minute we start uh, so we don't want to we don't want to lose any time on the rats you know go ahead and just uh, shut them down good forget 
Let's go back up to the top. There's a lift up there, but we have to use two stone sword keys to use it, and um, I don't think it'd be productive to go right now, so. So we won't. Now that we've uh, activated that site, Like that? I didn't, did I? We should only have one more now. Now there's actually a bit of loot down on the other side of that pedestal. I'm not going to get it, I can't remember what it is. <clears throat> but uh, this, we'd have to fast travel which would reset the area and to leave and I'm not interested in resetting the area at the moment. It's easy to get to uh, if you want to go back. We will be going up there for too long. The square off. Not really for us, but it's there if you want it. Okay. We only have one more of these things to light. And it's over here. Stone three. And eventually, we're going to go up this little ramping column here, but not right this moment. <laughs> Surprise. There's no reason to be a stingy with our magic. So let's just let's just shut everything down. This should be the last one. Let's see. Yep, power gather somewhere. That means uh, we've lit every one of them. So let's go back now to the save point. We can re up our uh, flasks. Now this isn't a bad fight. Um, 
I think the rocks do the best job against it. Um, the main thing is just don't get impatient. Uh, I don't like using the sword because this enemy is so tall. Uh, you can miss a lot. Um, and it just... Uh, I don't know. It's not working for me. But anyway, now this is glowing. We can touch it. That puts us in this mysterious cave. There's a stake here, so if we die, we can come right back. Although, you know, we have 5,000 runes, so if we do die, we'll be sure and pick up your runes. As always, there's going to be a very delayed um, jump dodge here. Oh no, it wasn't. Well, you'll know it when you see it. This is it. See that? You know, you can keep your shield up if you want. You don't really need to get in a hurry with this, is the main thing. We're too far away, unfortunately, to do the... Uh... See, that's kind of tricky. Just don't get greedy, is the main thing with this fight. See that? That's it. You get the Ancestral Follower Ashes, which are pretty good. I mean, we've kind of moved beyond that uh, at this point. Now we're just looking for the uh, transport out, which is kind of hard to find. There it is. So this is perfect timing, because the next thing we can do is level up and then go fight another mini-boss, our first Dragonkin soldier. So let's... um. Let's go here. How short are we? 400. That's fine. That'll do it. As I've already said, we're focusing on intelligence now. So we only have nine runes. This is perfect. We, we definitely won't feel like we're uh, taking too many chances. There's Blyde, we're not going to talk to him yet. Well, look at 
all these guys. <laughs> Seriously. That was nice, the shield blocked most of it, but took all our stamina. So, we got through that little exciting exchange. It's probably dwelling arrows. No, somber two, added to the pile. So this teleporter will take us up. Honestly, I'd like to just get the boss fight over with. You have a couple options for this. Um, you can do the whole thing on horseback if you want. Um, and that works fine as long as you don't get too greedy. I mean, this uh, this boss is, has an incredible reach. So, um, he'll get to you a lot faster than you might think is possible. So if you are, again, going to fight him on horseback, you don't, don't get caught up in an animation casting a spell where he can get to you. Uh, personally, I like to just kind of um, get up and roll into him, get behind him, and, you know, try to, try to stun lock him. We have a stake here, so if we die, it's no big deal, you know. So feel free to just try this again and again um, without... You know, don't worry too much about it. He will stagger eventually. And you're better off actually kind of behind him if you can get... See that? That's that reach I was telling you about. So we're probably not going to do it because we're too hurt. But we got pretty close. So, you know, that's why we came up here without runes, right? So we could try this a few times. If I fail a lot, I'll switch gears and I don't think I took my flask, which definitely would have helped. As I've already said, we're also kind of running out of gas with our summon here. Um, there's just not enough aggro for one thing.
Got him again. And that's that. So that wasn't so bad. And we got uh, 16,000 for it. We got the Dragon Halberd. Um, which isn't uh, bad gear, but ultimately uh, it's just for a different build. You need more strength to use it. Uh, even we want to turn to a magic weapon. The Scar Seal uh, increases your stats, but Incre decreases your resistance to damage. A lot of people love that kind of thing. There's one that's even more intense. Uh, the Sore Seal. That's in Kaled. Um, and we're going to get it eventually. I don't think we'll ever use it. But we'll get it. So if we ride around here. We can. Uh, there's a Ghost Glove Wart 5. Which is good. Um, we will be upgrading. Somebody. Uh, not our headless friend. They've gone about as far as uh, they can go with us. Um, we're just riding around here picking up stuff. As always with these clay things, it's really you don't have to you don't have to uh, worry too much. Just uh, stay mobile. There's only one in th thing in here to get. Somber five. Now we'll just run down to the bottom of this hill. Another seven. Uh, very nice. And I think that's it for us. Now we can just jump down. I don't know, half of me wants to try to go get this thing and half of me doesn't. Let's get off the horse. Let's just... Uh, do some good old fashioned running and jumping. Seat key. Is that just a stone sword key? I don't really care about that. I'm not <laughs> I'm not doing that for a stone sword key. Alright, so let's go back here. There's only a couple more things to do. And the main one is talk to Blyde. I can't believe all these things are following us. Guys aren't doing a lot of damage. I wouldn't go that far. Besides, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. 
If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Okay. So we need to go talk to Celibus. The only reason I'm coming up here is because it won't let me fast travel. This isn't really useful. There's that thing up there is just dwelling arrows, so I'm not going to be getting that. I just don't care. Um, but we'll come over here. Good enough. Let's go see Celibus. So not bad. We've already fought two bosses. And we're about to level up again. probably recall uh, Celibus is right over there um, we just having to run around the dragon and yes we could drive the dragon away and maybe I should I'm not gonna do it when I have 16,000 uh, runes on me uh, but maybe at some point Um, this phalanx is very impressive. It takes a lot of intelligence to use, um, but it's pretty wild. Um, carrying retaliation. Uh, this is really nice as a skill on a on a shield. Really, it becomes like a a kind of parry um, with a lot of frames. So we may look for the the skill later. Um, not the spell. Uh, Glenstone Ice Crag. It raises frostbite, but it um, does less damage than the Great Shard. Freezing Mist. We will probably buy this at some point. Actually, um, like poison, uh, enemies don't detect it, so you can cast it without getting their aggro. Let's tell them about Nefeli. from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. What a creep. Um, I don't give him scrolls. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. And of course, we know Selen. Uh, 
she's our instructor. Sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Well, well. Celibus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Carian royal family. And the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations, and in a crushing victory, arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement, and so too would Rani's destiny. What we want to be able to use is. Glenstone Comet Shard. And we're a ways off from that, as you can see. Uh, we're at 25 intelligence right now. So this is all very interesting, right? Radon, who's Ronnie's brother, by the way, um, stopped the stars somehow. And for uh, Ronnie's quest to continue, the stars must resume their movement in the heavens. So. Uh, that means we need to take out Radon. Now we could go straight there, um, but to fully experience the quest, we need to um, we need to go tell Bly. Once again, we're going to have these yahoos attack, probably. I wonder if it'll help if I go down here. same old clowns and we're not gonna let this guy run away festivities. I'll meet you at Redmain Castle in Caled. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fight. So there you have it. Let's go to Caled. This is the place they're talking about. So we'll go over here. So we're just going to run, 
Remember these birds. You don't want to get too close to the birds. So, I'm kind of going to split the difference here. You don't want to get close, to, too close to these dogs either, but um, chances are you can outrun them just to keep going. <laughs> just run, 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 run. It's kind of a battle here, these. Uh, yeah, these other soldiers will start fighting the dogs. Um, you can actually go up there. Um, it doesn't really interest me. We've kind of got a one-track mind here. Good. We're in the castle. If you go down there, there's a couple of those lion dog things there. They're really not worth messing with. Let's go up. Let's just go straight to where we're going. A lot of the castle is locked off at the moment um, for the festival. It gets opened up afterward, so you're not permanently closed off of anything if you want to come back later and explore. I'm going to level up. We're going to get rid of all our runes. So, uh, we really just need 2,000, really more like 1,600. That seems fine. Actually, for this fight, we might as well. We're not really going to use as much magic as you would expect. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some stuff that'll heal Torrent, our trusty steed, the Rona Raisins. Just make 20 of them. I'm going to put them in place of our lantern so that we can access them. See, our, our horse is going to get hurt. We're on the horse the whole time this fight goes. You'll see. Oh, I didn't level up. Yikes. Good. Be sure and go in here empty-handed. You know, if you have to burn up all your runes, do it. But don't don't go in there with like ten thousand runes. You'll regret it. Talk to the finger maiden. Get a new emote. Talk to Blythe. Took your it's sweet, sweet time. time. Come on. The players are all made up. I'm waiting for the coup. Let's give them a show to remember, eh? Just don't you go dying on me. For Ronnie's sake, too. And there's our old buddy, the Jar. Remember him? Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think, I could face a great champion of the Shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh, in truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear 
simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. After you've talked to everybody, go up here and talk to the Master of Ceremonies. Okay, so Radon, you know, another example of kind of debased uh, divinity. Uh, his mind was consumed by the rot that has taken over Caled. Um, this fight is very different. It's unique in the game, and getting your head wrapped around it is kind of hard. Um, In keeping with the festival, what we're really doing here is um, almost coordinating uh, the efforts of the entire group to attack Radon. So instead of like running up to Radon and just attacking him, which you can do, I mean, you can beat him that way. Um, but what we really want to do is run around summoning allies. Um, each ally can be summoned multiple times. They have a 25 second cooldown. So um, a big part of what we're going to do here is just ride around looking for summoning signs. Um, we'll hit them with rocks when it's uh, convenient. Uh, probably never more than once, one at a time, because he moves so quickly and closes distance uh, so fast. Uh, just getting close enough to cast a spell at him is kind of dangerous. Um, but there's a, you know, there's a stake here. We have no, no runes really, so we're not risking anything. Now when this fight first starts, he's going to lock on us and start shooting uh, these great bow arrows that um, will like take half of our health away. Just for laughs, I'm going to try to block one with the shield so you can see it. Um, but really, the biggest, hardest thing for this, uh, for you, is probably going to just be learning how to time uh, dodging those arrows. Once the people we summon get to him, he'll stop doing that, and he really won't do it again. Um, so it's just this initial uh, barrage that we have to survive. Uh, don't mash the summoning button. Once you're standing over the symbol, just hit it just hit it once um, if you're just mashing triangle you're gonna start doing emotes and get locked in animations and stuff just trust that they're gonna get summoned okay as promised I'm gonna put up the shield uh, for this first one but you can see the summoning symbols there
basically a second after he unleashes it you can dodge like that unfortunately that emote comes up I dodged too soon. <laughs> That's okay. I was really thrown off by that. <laughs> and that'll probably happen to you too. Um, I don't think it's actually specific to this. I think it's after you summon help a set number of times you learn that emote. And we just happen to be learning it here. Unfortunately. That's good. Unfortunately, get on your horse when this happens. Good. Blind, there's Patches. Patches is such a troll, he's gonna he'll disappear after a second. So as you can see, we're just gonna go in and like charge one. See he's already killed. Now he's coming for us. You can always just take the... Just keep going, you know? It's just kind of luck, because um, honestly, um, some of these uh, moves he does are incredibly deadly. So that hurt our horse pretty bad. So we're gonna. See, we can give it some healing stuff. There he goes again.
Don't forget to heal the horse. Great. <laughs> wow. So he goes up in the air and uh, does this dive bomb. I would have given myself, I should have given myself more uh, health class, but it's okay. kind of cheap. Get to feed the horse. Be sure not to accidentally jump off the horse. <laughs> I don't usually have this much trouble with it. Sorry to make you watch this. Maybe this will be the last time.
Okay. Let's try to stagger these packages will be gone very soon. going to find some other stuff to summon. Oh, bummer. There's a fake out. I guess we're waiting for the cooldown now. coming after me again. <laughs> I did it again. What's happening is I'm so you know I'm panicking. Instead of turning, I'm pushing down on the stick, which is uh, causing me to dismount right in front of him, and uh, that's deadly. So, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope you guys get something out of this anyway. Um, obviously, you don't mash the stick when you just want to turn around. It'd be the big lesson. All right, here we go again. Earnestly attempting not to <laughs> See how fast he is. I mean, the good thing is I'm taking his aggro, I guess.
unfortunately it's just us now, so... Good. Let's see if we have better luck this time. Alright. This is where he does his big leap. He's coming right after us. So, These guys aren't really doing the kind of damage they normally do. So there's some
Oh, he's doing his little jump again. See if we can find some more stuff to summon. We're almost there. jump over that those waves so it looks like we've got his attention unfortunately I'm gonna try to lure him Got him. Yeah. I did it. So that's just this crazy, wild, epic thing, isn't it? We beat him. So, here's Bly. Let's activate this first. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight it. The glory of the clash is shared by Radan and you. And ha. <laughs> Did you see that afterwards? Falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something at that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nopla, where Rani's fate would be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Let's meet where the fallen star bit the earth, and we'll go into battle. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate, sword and fire. The curtain's rising on the final act. Oh. So, let's go ahead and level up. As foretold, this is all for uh, intelligence. We also are not going to be able to make use of um, uh, the Star Scourge. It's all um, it's all strength heavy stuff. The sword actually has some intelligence with it, but it is uh, kind of incidental compared to the strength 
buff. I mean, it's a cool weapon. If you've kind of decided to do something different from this guide and you're just doing a little bit of magic with a whole lot of strength, uh, it's it's great for that. There's also a really good great bow, again, for somebody with kind of a quality build, mixed strength and dex. Um, but that's not us. So we're going to just use it. Get another 40,000 runes. There's a uh, there's a catacombs over there uh, where the cliff meets the water. Um, it's kind of terrible, um, both in terms of difficulty, but also annoyance factor. I won't be going in there, uh, but there is, I think, a unique ash in there. There's a unique something that you need for the platinum. Um, but hopefully you're, you're consulting a platinum guide to get all of those items if you need them. Just to tie off some loose ends, I'm going to come back here. different emote from her, but I guess not. So we're just going to keep on rolling. Um, we need one more point in intelligence, and then with the crown, we'll have our 38 uh, target. So we're getting close to where we want um, as far as offensive power goes. In the meantime, let's continue uh, with Ronnie's quest. We know the star fell somewhere around here, this mark on our map. So let's just... Uh, Travel over here and check it out. The other thing I'm going to do is put on our great bow because we can use it now and it's awesome. Um, look at this. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty epic, isn't it? I know. It's so cool. This is all, uh, this whole Ronnie thing is optional, too. It's just wild how far this thing goes. Okay, you can see down there, we're actually going to start making our way in there, believe it or not. This big glowing thing, we're obviously supposed to look at it. There's a traitor taken care of. Onwards to Nokran, then. Go on, I'll catch up.
Huh. Well, I wonder where he is. And if he'll catch up. So, this... You see all the blood down here. Um, you might be tempted to try to jump all the way to that middle one, but don't. It's too far. So just kind of gently walk off. Good. Now jump onto this one. Then kind of go down. And now we're here. And we're about done for, for the night. Uh, we're going to... Um, we're going to reach the city proper. Which isn't very far from here. Lots of great loot. In uh, uh, the next few areas. Sleep grease. We can't put uh, grease on our magic weapon, unfortunately. Look at this crazy thing. Isn't this wild? It's like a really messed up version of Bloodborne. <laughs> Um, so that blob there obviously is going to become an enemy. I mean, you can tell just by looking. And that one over there. We should have just done a shard for that. That's okay. Um... There's a bunch of stuff up here. It's not worth it. But if you want to go up there, you can. Um, check this great bow out. Charge it to get full power out of it. It's slow, but it has incredible reach. And good damage, too. We don't actually need that. Great. I can't remember if there's anything up here or not. Uh, just this tear husk. Those are everywhere down here. For reasons that might become apparent. anything. Yep, there is something. Okay. Now our bow is really going to come in handy. Oh, I need to adjust my flasks. To go back to using more magic. These little guys don't look like much, but they can really overwhelm you. Uh, so taking them out at range is definitely the best best idea. Uh, that should be all of them. When you use the bow, it's always good to switch back to your shard or whatever. Um, 
because the bow is, is really slow and uh, you can get interrupted while you're using it. So it's not really a good thing to have equipped while you're just exploring. redo our flasks. Let's try four and six. These guys all take two. You just want to keep moving because they'll start shooting arrows in a minute. Good. All right, so now we can buy glo ghost glove warts one through three. Uh, from the uh, Finger Maidens at the round table. Of course, now I've gotten to a point where one through three isn't really a big deal. Um, I mean, it all depends. Uh, I mean, if you want to experiment, that's great. But, like, just getting... In terms of runes, if you have the glove wards, getting something... To Ghost 5 is more than 10,000 runes, so it, it starts to get pretty expensive. Um, experimenting with this stuff. on we'll go down there that's where the next adventure lies shield ashes those are kind of fun actually it's just like four or five of these guys with great shields that's really it that's all it is uh, they're very durable though if you um, if you invest in them our first larval tier if you remember from uh, a couple episodes ago that's what we can use to uh, respec our character and we're gonna find a whole ton of those over the course of the game There's our four. Excellent. There's 
staff. We're going to do uh, rock sling. This is the first Nox uh, priest or priestess or whatever. They are very, those uh, Nox things, they're very agile, they dodge very well, they do a lot of damage. Um, there's like uh, three of these down here. I'm just gonna get them. I just didn't want to deal with three at a time. I will deal with two at a time. And there's our second larval tier. Now this is an interesting confrontation. Um, this is a gimmick fight. Um, a kind of interesting one at that. Uh, the gimmick is that it's a mimic. It imitates you and everything you're wearing um, and equipping. So the the secret is to go in without anything equipped. And then once we go in, we'll equip our sword. We can also summon <laughs> headless, but it's just not needed. Anyway, this is, you know, a neat idea. That's that. Larval tier, silver tier mask, ten thousand runes. Let's get geared up again. just level up again because we're about to do something dangerous. Well, we won't do it here though. We'll, we'll go to the next one. There's a Ash you can get here. No, not an ash, a somber five. Which I mean those are starting to pile up. Um, but it's you know it's still a decent find. So over here, look at this mysterious geography. Now we were over there, but we haven't been over here. So let's just see about that.
those threes are everywhere, aren't they? Dwelling arrow. Um, there's nothing down here, but I want to come down here anyway, because it's interesting. Oh, I have the wrong place. <laughs> that isn't super interesting. Oh well, we'll get there eventually. To that undesignated interesting place. So, as you can see, we no longer have spirits. We actually have uh, horned enemies. They're more resilient than the spirits were and they do more damage, which shouldn't be surprising. But for now, this is where we want to be. Look at that crazy view. What's coming off of that building there? Pretty wild. So let's level up, first of all. Looks like we need about 1600 runes. Bingo. So now we have the intelligence we need. Um, unfortunately, we're going to need uh, 10,000 for the spell. So, And we're probably going to need another 10,000 to upgrade the new uh, summon ash. We get. So we need, we need 20k to kind of get um, to hit our next sort of plateau in terms of gear. But we're right there. We're, we're doing great. Uh, we'll be there soon. As you might or might not guess, we're going to jump onto that roof uh, tomorrow night, actually. So, I hope you'll tune in. And thanks for uh, joining me on another uh, exciting episode of Let's Elden Ring. I hope it wasn't too exasperating uh, watching me uh, die to Radon three times. See you tomorrow night.